from Flutter Ferry. Today I'll be talking about connecting our iOS app to Firebase. So we have done that already for Android and we are doing that for iOS too. So and that's also an issue on our issue tab and which is it which is this connect iOS app to Firebase. So we'll be doing that. So I have my project opened if you haven't gotten the project on your pc you can just clone it here and clone it to your computer so i've gotten the project open and also my ios simulator if you have not done that look for how to set up your simulator and your xcode so those are the things you are going to do and so let's let's begin so I'll go to our Firebase dashboard over here and I'll click on the add app. I'm going to add an iOS app and I'm going to register this app. Now they are looking for the bundle identifier and also the app nickname and app store ID which are all optional. So I'll add the ios bundle id which is required so for us to easily get that we can go down to our is folder and right click and open in xcode we're going to open that in our xcode we'll wait a few minutes and yeah it's opened so for us to retrieve our bundle id We'll click on runner and here is our bundle id so i've copied that and i'll put it in here call this city cab city cab ios so i'm going to register that and and wait to download the config the google services Google service.info.plist. I'm going to download that. I'm going to open that on my finder, and here it is. So I'm going to drag that to. I'm going to drag that to our runner here. So you've got to do that. Open it and drag it to our runner and copy item if needed. You're going to enable that and click finish. Okay, we have done that. And what next is processing? And I'll just collapse this and also this. Save the file and get is and what we are going to try to do we are going to run on uh, next year before we actually run that we are going to see pop in it so before you do that you just need to press on f5 to automatically do that for you to actually run that so clicking on that will get the pop file to your machine so this is actually going to give you some errors it's going to give you some errors so we're going to fix this so the best way to fix it and it's by on committing the colon ios so i'm going to set that to 10 and save and i'll try to run So I think that's cool. Try to run that and it's running and it's actually building. I think this actually is gonna work. So we have our existing code here that actually fires um data to our collection our user collection 
with a dynamic ID that actually get fired to our ID. So we're going to run that and this is still running. So we have what we already did for we have what we already did for so here's our iOS app. So here's our iOS app configs. So in the process of this running, we are I'm going to show you other things. So we have our Firestore database. We are we'll be pushing everything to our, our our data and most of the things we are going to use in, in our app. So when we did for when we kill the issue for connecting. Connecting Android app to Firebase, we actually did this by doing this. So we are going to do it on our iOS to our iOS T building. So I think that's going to take some time because it actually building our project. So, but at this just the first maybe. By the time I run it the second time, it's going to run a bit more faster. So that's it. Our code works now. We have successfully connected our iOS app to Firebase and clicking on this um, floating action button should actually run and trigger a document to be built. And get this so we have everything working so print done and yeah it's what is actually run so thank you for watching this I'll be uploading more videos about this and just do as to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification to always get notified on all the videos I'll be posting in the channel thank you and God bless you